Now here it is. This is a Gabrielle PM size. And the color is called Wood Rose and it is in uh, gold hardware. So let me take, of course it comes with a protection. Let me take it out for you. Here it is. This handle is simply perfection. It's so comfortable to carry um, the color. I have never seen a color like this. It's like a chame chameleon because it changes according to the light. It's, uh, it's pink, but sometimes it's more nude and sometimes it's like a kind of rose. I mean, it's, it's very special. I don't have, believe it or not, um, I have around 30 handbags and I only have a pink Sakura kind of pink. So it's a very nude um, pink, uh, but I don't have anything in this color. And when I saw it in the store with gold hardware, and of course, um, this is a uh, an old Ramesh era uh, handbag so there was only one in store and I just had to grab it fast before it goes so let me show you it has four feet this is the back I mean the quality of the stitching and the finishing how the glazing is done is perfection. I mean, I think the finishing of all Moina bags is absolutely perfect. So, as usual, we turn the lock and then open it. I would say uh, it would be easier. It is easier to open up a uh, Gabrielle than a Gabby. The Gabby is the slouchy, more soft uh, leather um, that I showed you previously in color black. Um, this one is, I would say, is easier to close. But of course, the opening is a little bit stiffer. The inside, again, one pocket with the classic Moina interior in calf leather. It's a very soft leather with no logo, nothing inside. This is the detachable adjustable strap in the same color. Let me let me show you so you see the stitching. Very simple, right? The sides. It's absolutely perfect. And you could just wear it like this if you want, you know a more casual style or you can just close it if you have it open and you have a lot of things inside of course uh, the structure is gonna suffer so the leather uh, everybody says it's uh, very similar to Hermes um, Epsom it's this kind of bringing the stamped uh, leather uh, it is matte, so I love matte leather. I don't like shiny leather unless it's a very smooth box. Um, and they tend to be more um, difficult to pair with my style because I'm very casual. I'm sneakers and jeans kind of person, so, you know. Um, I never tend to like the gold hardware, but for some reason, Mona hardware, I just... I love it. It's so shiny and it is coated with 18K um, gold. So, yeah. However, it is prone to scratches. So you have to be careful as, you know, any, as is any hardware. You have the logo here, Mona Paris made in France. All Moina uh, handbags are made in France. They have an atelier in Paris. And yeah, you see this teaching like is absolutely gorgeous. The color is very, very special. 
and even the stamping on the leather is just very unique I find it's like a nice pattern yeah so this is the bag that I couldn't you know I couldn't leave in the boutique I had to have it and that's the reason why I got two in the same week how crazy is that this is the strap same leather adjustable very nice buckle here it says Mona and the same hardware as I show you with the Gabby the hardware also has uh, Mona Paris it is a very nice length uh, and even me I am five foot uh, six and I can cross body the handle we get a little bit high but it is very comfortable because it does lay flat it is very comfy and I find this is the perfect size the PM size they have a mini and they have like a medium I believe this one is around uh, 26 centimeters something like that so it's more like the size of a Kelly Cellier in 25 I find this is the perfect size um you know it can still transition well from day to night if you want because it's not super big um and you can also take it to the office because the logo is you know very minimal i also like the the logo like this it's kind of cute as well and i also like it that i showed you before like it has a magnet so it's very easy to to find when you try to close it i also like it like this a little bit more casual so i can't wait to wear them uh this one i have not worn because we had rain in shanghai actually today is the first day without any rain um and i wanted to show you the true nature of the color wood rose and yeah so moina Gabrielle. Gabrielle is the more structure style and Gabby is the slouchy one and the sizes they are the same they go from uh, BB or mini PM and then uh, medium so that's it I believe I said everything about um, this bag um, I, I explained in my previous uh, video the reason why I am you know trying other brands is because i want a brand that is under the radar but also uh weighted on high quality you know excellent in excellent uh, craftsmanship and attention to detail very good finishing i've been lately pretty upset with chanel because i had uh i had booked um uh, well i had pre-ordered uh how you say a chanel uh, mini in the caramel the famous caramel color and when my essay showed it to me the chain was wrong the structure didn't look like properly finished and overall i was very disappointed so um yeah when that happens i never accept uh, something that is not 100 percent perfect and i don't think anybody should do that uh, for everyone, I have to tell you, there will always be the next unicorn. And now everybody's talking about the caramel mini. And the next season, everyone is talking about the mini with the handle. And, you know, there's always a unicorn back. So never buy anything that you, you know, it seems off to you. It doesn't matter if it is or not. I know Chanel will tell you, well, this is handmade, blah, 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 blah. But my advice is always be 100 percent sure of what you're buying and be happy and satisfied with what you're buying so that's something that um i wanted to mention lately chanel is doing so so and that's the reason why i'm going to i'm um, trying other brands now if you are a beginner in your handbag collection 
if you're someone young who still doesn't know what is the type of bag that you enjoy for every day or for night um i would say maybe stay away from mona or go pre-loved because um the retail price obviously is lower than hermes the quality i would say is on par i don't think hermes is higher is better than moina i don't think moina is better than hermes i think they're brother and sister and i say this because of how well executed um you know the whole bag is in, in moina the color they make beautiful colors very special the hardware is on point the finishing the stitching i mean for me it is um same level as her mess i have to say so with that said um of course this is an, a brand under the radar it means there's not so much demand if you want to resell it because i don't know let's say you don't really wear this wood rose color or you want the same back in a different hardware well you will lose a lot of money if you resell it uh probably more than 30 percent uh, of the retail price so you have to be very sure what you buy in moina with that said if you're someone more mature like me and when i say mature i don't think it's about the age it's about where in your handbag collection journey you are you have tried many things you failed a lot and you already know what you like what you don't like uh for me i'm a casual person i need a handle so i love top handle but i need a strap um that's mandatory for me and uh, i tend to prefer very minimalistic classic design and no logo or not much logo let's say chanel cc would be an exception i can accept but uh, other than that, I don't like too much monogram and all that. It's not my preference. So I know very well what I like and what I dislike. And um, I don't like... I actually enjoy when someone comes to me and I'm wearing a bag that it has no logo. And they say, oh, I love your bag. And they are not a handbag person. I really appreciate it because it's... It means that the handbag is very well made. The quality is very, you know, is very well, well done. It's very good. And it's obvious to other people who are not into handbags. So for me, that's, um, that's what I like. I don't need uh, to wear a Birkin so that everyone recognizes that, um, you know, um, I have an Hermes, I'm carrying an Hermes bag. Uh, I just want under the radar beautiful things that not so many people have and when i went to the shopping mall and i saw such a long queue in hermes and such a long queue in chanel i don't know it's just it, the items don't feel special anymore it feels like something that everybody wants everybody uh, wants to carry so when i go to moina and the whole say the whole team in moina is super nice there's few people in the store no cues you know they give you full attention you don't see this back like so much at the street i don't know it makes me feel more special uh more luxurious you know because not everyone has it and that's what i like i like being able to carry this back to work being able to carry it to a customer meeting uh or to a date no one's gonna know this is a moina bag unless you watch this video or unless you have one yourself so um that's why i am trying to step out from you know the most popular brands and trying something new and of course you can see how beautiful this bag is so give it a try or just do your research i mean this is my opinion of course you can do your research and see it by yourself touch the leather um i'm planning to do a comparison with my uh, hermes or maybe uh, celine 16 back which is also pretty similar to this kind of style um let me know in the comments below if you would like a comparison and yeah so i hope you like this video 
and uh, stay tuned for my next one because I do have another unboxing coming soon and that is the third and last handbag I got for my birthday and just for everyone to know uh, please if how can I say this <laughs> I have, I'm very conscious with my spending. I have a budget. I make it every year. So I know what I'm going to spend for my birthday. Maybe I don't know exactly what bag, but I have my funds for uh, my birthday. Same as I have a budget for my Christmas spending, for gifts for my family's birthday or, you know, whatever. So don't think why, because you see this online, don't think that you know i'm just buying handbags uh two handbags every week because that's nonsense i had to work very hard and i had to save a lot to be able to have the funds so that i could splurge uh when i saw a nice handbag that i like like in this case i wanted to have these two handbags from uh, moina uh, so yeah, if you didn't see my previous video with uh, uh, Moina Gabby in the size PM, uh, go to that video. I think you will also like it. It's maybe a little bit more casual. And in future, I will also like to compare them uh, next to each other. But I would like to try them and wear them more so I can give you an opinion of which one is my preference. Because at this moment, both of them uh, are in the same level. Like I love them both. So anyway, I hope you have a very nice day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.